a fucking screw up. Got it. Oh man, I haven't started a vlog in this section in so long. If you guys remember, I would stand in this exact hallway every single time. What's going on guys? It's your boy EMC, back again. But today is gonna be a different type of vlog. Um, you know, I this is my life. I go thrifting every day. I have a passion for clothes. So sometimes it's not gonna be all about clothes. Today, I'm gonna go house shopping. Not house shopping, but apartment shopping. Not to buy, but to rent. Right now, I'm in a two bedroom. Obviously, you know, I have my inventory room. Then I have my bedroom. We got a little captain over here sleeping. What up, guy? What up? And I'm not gonna lie, this apartment or this uh, person I'm renting from has a wall unit. And if you guys don't know what a wall unit is, it's this. It's like this AC unit. This thing is covered in mold. I've told the people numerous times like, yo, it smells like mold. There's mold in the thing. They refuse to do anything about it to the point that they're ready to kick me out because I'm complaining so much. So that being said, we're gonna start looking for a new place to live. We're gonna find a new pad. Hopefully we find something nicer. Hopefully we find something bigger. You know, everything happens for a reason. At least that's how I think of things. So let's get it guys. Well, this is number one. They said that they have a lot of work to do. Like they have to clean up the unit before. Got a front window. Yeah, they definitely gotta clean it up. There is carpet, which eh, I didn't really want. Walk in, you have the kitchen. Good thing about central air. Got a dishwasher. Fridge, stove, oven, or microwave. Definitely gotta clean up this place though. Then we got the living room. I hate this carpet. Definitely a big room. Walk in closet. Bathroom. Yeah, the rooms are definitely bigger, for sure. Another bathroom. Well, I don't know. They definitely gotta clean it up. I wanna see what it looks like cleaned up before. It's outside the windows. Fenced in, which is good. I don't know, guys, maybe. Maybe I would have, I don't know how the setup would be. Maybe my couch over here, or maybe my TV would be over here, and the couch would be like right here. I don't know, it's a weird layout. It's definitely bigger though. Which room would be my inventory room and which room would be my bedroom though? And I think they have the same kind of bathrooms. It's not really like, Maybe the other one's a little bit bigger. I don't know, maybe I'd make this my bedroom and the other room would be my inventory room. This would be the bedroom. It's not bad. Well, I just called the realtor and I said, you know, I do like the unit, but it is very dirty. It needs to be cleaned. So she's gonna call the maintenance person or like the management to see if they can clean it up make it all tidy, ready to rent, and then I will go back there and see how much they actually clean to see if that place is worth renting. Right now, I'm quickly just gonna drive around in the area to see if I can see like any, like this one, apartments for rent, like any for rent signs that maybe I can see, or like a for rent by owner. I would really like to rent a house, like, that's like my main goal is to find like a two, three bedroom house so that way Captain has a backyard, I have the space, I don't have to deal with any neighbors. Just, it'll be so much easier. But with Fort Lauderdale, it's so difficult to find houses, especially in my price range, you know? If I was 
making that YouTube money already, I wouldn't have this problem. You know, I could easily find a place. But when you have a specific budget and you have to like, I need a two bedroom, so I have to have a two bedroom on a specific budget and it's just, it's so like, it sucks, it sucks. Like, I wish that, like I said, I wish that I could just afford whatever I wanted because then I'd be chilling. We'd find the nicest house. So as I was driving, I just saw this for rent sign. It's a two bedroom, two bath house. This is exactly like what I would want. I just peeked my head through. There's a backyard, there's a garage. Like this is what I need, but with my price range, it's so hard to be able to afford that. Like, like I said, if the YouTube was a little bit there, I could afford it a little bit there. But hey, let's keep looking. You know, me saying like, oh, I wish my YouTube career paid, like blew up so that way I can afford the apartment or house that I want to rent. And it's kind of funny because I was watching this YouTuber the other day and he's like, all my videos are demonetized. I'm not making any more money. And like to the point where he's begging his subscribers to pay him $20 a month just so he'll continue to produce videos. And I'm like, oh my God, like is this guy actually doing it? And if he is, that's awesome. Like that's, that's sick. Like, like I said, Twitch, Twitch, I believe to subscribe to somebody, you have to pay $5 a month. So you're spending $5 a month just so that way you can watch their videos and that's how they make a living. I think that'd be kind of cool for YouTube to do. I mean, I do low key like, like I, as many YouTubers as I watch, I'm not subscribed to any of them, but if I had to pay $5 to subscribe to them, I don't know if I would really watch them. I mean, maybe a few I would, but I don't know. I guess that kind of just goes back to how much you really like that that person and like how much you like their content. If you want to continue watching them and you're willing to spend $20 a month just so that way your favorite YouTuber can survive and live, then I think that's awesome actually. <laughs> apartment number two and already I like this so much better as soon as you walk in you have this natural light peeping through this window you walk over to it and as you guys see we have a screened balcony which is actually perfect because you know I can leave this open have captain run outside and he could just chill outside while being screened in you know I don't have to worry about it it looks like there is also a storage unit for outside which is perfect you know if I get a bike or something And then this is the living room area, walking into the kitchen, all stainless steel appliance, nice countertop, really nice. This is definitely better than the first one, guys. Central AC, which is exactly what we're looking for. Then we have the first bedroom, which I love this wood. This is nice. This would probably be the office. Another little sliding window going out to the balcony. Nice little closet. Then we got the second bedroom. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's all good. Walk-in closet, a lot of storage unit. Got a nice cockroach. <laughs> now this is definitely a lot nicer than the first one. Nice little window. So we just walked out and they have a full pool, they have a gym over there, and we're on the intercoastal. Sorry for the wind, like I don't have my wind protector on right now so it might be kind of bad, but this is definitely the spot. Like look, they have dog little, a dog park, a bench that you can sit on, I can take Captain out. Like this is the spot guys, this is the spot. I'm gonna try to make an offer and hopefully we get approved and get that apartment guys. Well guys, I think that's gonna be the move. Like I said, I really like that. You know, as soon as you walk in, you get that natural light coming in from the balcony, which the balcony is like, I love having a balcony. Being on the third floor, it's not the top floor, but you know, hopefully we don't have any heavy people upstairs that are like to stomp around. And hopefully I get approved, you know. Um, you know, that's one thing that being an adult world is that they go and check your background history, which my background history is good, but they go and check your credit and they check all this. It's like, oh, am I going to get approved? Am I going to get denied? 
but we'll see. Friend's gonna email me the papers and I'm gonna shoot an offer to them and if they accept, then that's gonna be the new place, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like that. Obviously, you don't really see my apartment now just because it's a full mess, but my apartment at, at home is not that big. This one's definitely bigger. The rooms are nicer. It just has a better vibe, so I'm really hope that I get approved for this apartment. I know, guys, I know. My house is a mess, but just to show you guys like what my house that I'm living at kind of looks like got the living room to the left walk in we have obviously my inventory room we have my bedroom we have a small bathroom so obviously that place is a lot bigger it's a lot nicer and like I said I really hope I get approved so wish me guys luck I will see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog tomorrow's wacky Wednesday so make sure you guys come back don't forget, and don't forget, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Marines are high speed when the cops crash. As I laugh, pushing the gas when my clocks blast. We was young and we was dumb, but we had hard.